I typically like opening by saying, What's good, cuties? I was thinking of making it my version of, Hey, hey, people. But now that Netflix is a big stinky stinky, Oh, what a pedophile. They have ruined that word for me. My goofy ape brain has been hyper fixating on a specific animal, so that's what today's video is. It's all a very complicated decision process, uh, I'm, I'm sure you can tell. Uh worm life. Worm good. No worm. Think about worm. Regret. Uh one of the driving forces behind my passion for biology is a fascination with the strange beauty behind it, and I believe biology is one of the most pure and profound of expressions of just that. Taking that into consideration, you can bet your sweet, sweet cup and cakes that I'll have videos dedicated to animals who have top-tier aesthetic. You know, critters like chylopods, asdarkids, polychaetes, hylobates, opabenia, diplomaceris, Cleonidae, scorpions, omnidens, spinosaurids, and a some lot more other animals with that cream of the crop style pile. This episode will focus on worms within the genus Tuthidodrilus, a also known as K.A. squidworms. As a side note, not too much is known about squid worms currently, as they are rarely sighted and a relatively recent observation. A possible sighting was recorded in 2004, and official sightings recorded in 2007. Another, more recent sighting in 2013 spotted what was assumed to be the same species, but the record states the swimming pattern and overarching posture was significantly different. The world of annelids is weird, but going further into the world of polychaetes just gets downright funky. Did you just say polychaete worms? Co come on the heck down and check out what we've got have. A feature that is their namesake, polychaetes have clustered bristles along their somatic segments. Polis, or poly, being Greek in origin for many, and kite, being Greek in origin for long hair. These kita, or kite, provide annelids with multifunctional tools, but none use them quite as robustly or diversely as polychaetes, often to help in locomotion, self-defense, or anchoring into substrate. In the case of Tuthidodrilus, these bristles are flattened and curved to be used as ideal paddles. The shape allows for large surface area coverage, lightweight, yet rigid and strong enough to provide the worm with efficient method of aquatic lift. Like many little chitinous oars, I, I, uh, hold on. Yeah, chitinous oars. If you look close, you might also see these goobers are not just wiggling to swim, but they wiggle backwards, creating an undulating wave that allows minimal effort while curved for forward propulsion. You might be like me wishing and hoping against hope that these things are like 12 foot long, but unfortunately they top off at around 9 to 10 centimeters. Though not majestic giants, they're perfect if you're looking for a friend to keep in your pocket. What's that now? What do they eat, you ass? I'm, 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 I'm thinking the Brunswick stew, really. How, uh, how about you, darling? What do you naturally and normally all the times wants to eat? Get away from me, you baboon. I swear, I will call the ocean police. I'm not kidding. Turns out their diets are like supermarkets. They both contain a wide variety and minimal effort. Much like a starved college student, they will gently drift into water columns with decent concentration of what we call marine snow. The practically countless biocrumbs that gently drift from the higher plains in the ocean. Instead of traditional basket face based filter feeding, Tuthidodrilus use their 10 elongated face tentacles to snag the nutritious particulate from the above. Though it's not confirmed how their tentacles work, it may be safe to guess by looking at Tuthidodrilus' not too distant cousin, the spaghetti worm of the family Terabilidae. Their tentacles are built to use striated metachronous movements to conveyor belt food from appendage to face. Aesthetic review! Oh, we got, we got, we got the long shape. Long shape is best shape. High quality wiggler. PNGs can be liars. Watch out, might lie to you. Invertebrates. An ocean pal. 
Tentacruz, no less. Fits in the pockets for secret gossip. Final aesthetic verdict. Toothy Dodrilus gets a score of cool tapes. Oh, and a big props to Space Condor for drawing me this twice fresh Squidworm. Nothing but raw artistry and passion in this one. Like a like and subscribe to my channel style pile. Every subscription helps. Please, please help. I can't just keep selling organs anymore. Please, the Russians are getting very picky about their product. And hobos don't exactly have the best livers anymore.